we're going to talk about practical domain and range at this point. So this one can kind of be a little bit confusing, so I'm trying to clarify a little bit if we can. Let's pretend that you're going to drive 100 miles on a freeway. Let's say you're going on a trip, uh, wherever you're going, where you're going out of town, you're going to take the freeway to do so. And we want to try to calculate how long it's going to take us to drive those 100 miles on that freeway. Okay, so if we can develop a formula or an equation that will tell us how long it will take us at varying speeds. If we have that the time that it will take us will equal t, and our speed will equal s. So the time it will take, time equals, now let's see, if we do, remember that distance equals rate times time. Okay, so if we solve that one for time, time equals the distance divided by the speed. Okay, so we can go 100 miles divided by ever, however fast we were going, okay? For instance, if we went uh, at 50 miles an hour, 100 miles divided by 50, our speed, would give us 2 hours. It would take us 2 hours to get there, that would be our time. So that would be appropriate in this case. So this one right here is our, um, this would be our equation that we want to set up for it. Now, on this one, we want to talk about the practical domain first. Domain is whatever's practical for what input we're using. And our input in this one is our speed. And so what's practical that our speed would be on a freeway? We're probably not going to go 2 miles an hour. Okay, and we're probably not going to go much over 100 miles an hour. You know, so your, your practical domain would probably be, let's say maybe on the low side you'd go 50 miles an hour. And on the high side, maybe 100, right around there. I mean, there are extreme circumstances. Maybe you've got, you want to try to argue that you're going to walk from, or that you're pushing your car. But realistically, it's probably somewhere around 50 to 100. And whenever you do this one, make sure you put a little bit of information. Okay, I'm assuming normal driving speed, something along those lines, would be fine. But your domain would be anywhere from 50 to 100, because that's all that the speed would be. Now, our range on this one... is the practical output for whatever our given input is. That sounds kind of confusing. So let's talk about it for a second. The range in this case would be our t. Okay, whatever, what can t be in this case? Okay, so if, if the lowest one was 50, what would our lowest t be? Well, this would be 100 divided by 50 would be 2. The range would be 2 would be our low end. And if it went all the way up to 100 miles an hour, 100 divided by 100 is... 1. So we could have a range of 2, we could also have a range of 1, we could have a range of anything in between there. What if we were going 75 miles an hour? So the way that we would write this one, our range in this, in this one, our practical range, okay, practical, practical range in this case would be anywhere from 1 to 2 hours, okay? Now remember, practical range and practical domain are very specific to whatever this scenario is. If I said that you weren't driving 100 miles, but maybe you are walking or running 100 miles, then the speed would be nowhere close to 50. It might be something like, well, if you're running it, it might be 5 miles an hour, maybe 10 miles an hour, maybe you're really fast, you go 13 or something, but you're not going to realistically run over 20 miles an hour. It's just not realistic, so that would change your domain. And remember, your range is based off of whatever your practical domain is in this case. So, on this particular one, it's okay because our speed limits are somewhere between 50 and 100 